check this out guys, we are back on the main village inside of COC and we have got a lot to cover inside of this episode including a giveaway guys. I'm gonna do a giveaway in a couple of seconds time so stay tuned. Check this out, we've got 10 million gold, 8.4 million elixir and we're still grinding to max out the rest of this town hall 11 base guys. All we gotta do is these level 11 walls and we've only got a total of 142 remaining guys so I'm still grinding. If you want me to max out this Town Hall 11 base before the next update, smash that like button, guys. Show some support to the channel, but check this out. We're going to head off into the shop. You can see there is an Elixir Hero Pack, guys. That's going to be give me a Book of Heroes, and it's also going to give me 3,100 Elixir. Now, all you need to do if you want me to actually give you a $9.99 gift card, guys. So if you want to win your own Elixir Hero Pack, all you need to do is let me know down below in that comment section what is your current goal grab inside of the game, guys. I'm going to choose a random comment, and you, my friend, are going to win a $10 gift card. So let me know down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways when this update does come out. So to begin, let's go ahead and get ourselves the Elixir Hero Pack, and uh, that's going to give me another 3,100 Elixir. Sorry, 3.1 million Elixir. Okay, so there it is guys, the purchase should go through and 9.99 later we have got 11.5 million elixir, 10 million in gold in resources as well guys, and we're about to do some upgrades to some walls. So, let me just check, if we go into our, what is it, magic items guys, I've got one book of heroes, two wall rings, I've got a couple of potions, and that pretty much concludes it guys. So let's do this, 10 million gold, 11.5 million elixir. Let's see how many upgrades we get, guys. So, of course, we're going to be upgrading just our walls. There's two. There is three. There is four. Can we get five? Maybe. Maybe by the end of the video, we could upgrade five level 12 walls in a single video, guys. So, let's get ourselves into a live attack. Let's see if we can find ourselves some decent money, guys. We're looking for golden elixir, of course. Inside of the next episode, there will be a Dark Elixir troll base on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned for that, guys. That is going to be absolutely awesome, but for now, my friends, we are about to grind and find some more loot. As I said, if you want the chance to win a $9.99 gift card, all you need to do is let me know your gold grab down below in that comment section. I'm going to choose a random comment, and inside of the next episode, you're going to win yourself a $10 gift card, guys. It is that simple. Leave a like to show some support, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. We're going to be back in a couple of seconds, guys. Let's see if we can find ourselves a decent opponent. Okay, this is pretty damn awesome. We've just landed on a Town Hall 11 base, guys, and I've actually got a good feeling we can triple star this dude because he's got lower level heroes, lower level walls, and there is over or just under half a million in Elixir, guys. So this should allow me to actually upgrade another wall inside of this episode, and we can do five level 12 walls in a single video that is pretty damn epic so we're gonna start off with this queen guys we got a baby dragon and we got wall breakers down just to get the queen into the base and do some initial damage we're gonna be striking for um let's come in let's come in over here guys let's drop in those earthquake spells with the main army over there i'm gonna use both baby dragons up in those corners and the queen is pretty much just going to walk around herself and do some damage, guys. So let's wait for the queen to actually uh, take down, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40% of this base before we move in with the rest of the troops, guys. So there goes our rage spell. Queen is going to get a good beating there, but let's use a wall breaker, help her get through. Oh, she's through. That was pretty quick, guys. Now there are no single target in Inferno Towers. Check that out. That wall breaker just triggered a giant big bomb, guys. There are no single target in Inferno Towers. Which actually means my queen, with the backup of these uh, these rage spells, is actually going to do a lot of damage here. So, let's see what she can do on her own, guys. Queen's going to tear down that expo, and I think she's actually going to take down all these defenses. I don't see anything which is going to stop her. Possibly this defending clan castle, guys. But let's just see what happens here. So, let's use another rage spell. Get this queen to take down those giants ASAP, guys. Now, whilst that is going on... We're going to come in with a huge spread with these golems and, of course, all of these bowlers on the other side. And uh, we are going to see what we can do here, guys. So let's use those two archers down the bottom with, of course, that minion. And here we go. So the troops are starting to go into the base, guys. The golem 
actually protected my troops as the defending queen was stuck on that golem. But here we go, my troops are about to break into the base. And it looks like this dude is about to take a beating, guys. So there goes a rage spell. Gonna get the remaining of those bowlers and, of course, those heroes into the core. We're gonna smash the Grand Warden's ability. Just about saving my queen. Unfortunately, we've lost our healers, guys. But we're up to 64% so far. Already grabbed ourselves a second star. And we've done a huge amount of damage. So let's pop that King's ability, guys. Take out the entire core of this dude's base. And let's make our way towards, what is it, 70%. So we're getting a 100% loot bonus. Let's see if we can just grab the rest of this elixir, guys. There goes the Queen's ability. She's going to take out the elixir storage in the center. There is one, just one more left over on the other side, guys. But I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But at least we got over 70%. And that is going to get me a 100% loot bonus, guys. So check it out, 400 and 30,000 elixir, 100% bonus, just under 300k more gold and elixir, and that takes us to a glorious 4.2 million in elixir, guys. So, let's actually, um, let's check for a second. We have got a total of 4 hours and 27 minutes left inside of war. I'm actually going to do a live war attack next, guys, so let me cook my, uh, just a generic war army for now, and then I can change it later. And uh, we're going to get ourselves into another live attack in a couple of seconds. There's the army locked and loaded. A couple of rage spells and a poison. Okay, so let's upgrade another one of these walls. 3.9 million elixir. We need to get ourselves into another live attack, guys. Of course, I did just spend elixir on my army. So it's very important I've done that first, guys. But here we go. King, Queen, and Grand Warden. Let's do this. As soon as we find ourselves an opponent, we're going to strike him down. And we'll be able to do a final wall upgrade before we even end this episode, guys. And that takes me to about 135 level 11 walls left. I've actually been upgrading these pretty damn quickly. And I'm also closing in on a 2 billion gold grab, guys. Just in time for the next update. It is pretty damn sweet. So make sure you stay tuned once again. We'll be back in a couple of seconds, guys. Gonna see if we can find ourselves another decent opponent. And hopefully get a 3 star this time. Okay, absolutely perfect. This literally looks like the base we just attacked. Difference is this time we are gonna come in from a different side, guys. Okay, so these air defenses, this one can actually be snapped up with the, uh, the Archer Queen. That one can't, so I'm gonna come from that side of the base. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop in these Earthquake spells there. We're gonna use a Baby Dragon there with, of course, the Queen just behind, guys. And the Queen should funnel to the left hand side now whilst that is going on we're gonna drop another baby dragon up the top here guys hopefully gonna be able to take out or at least do some damage to this grand warden guys now that archer tower is set to fast so i think my baby dragon is gonna get ripped apart yes it is let's use another one and see if we can just do a little bit of damage guys sending the minion whilst the baby dragon tries to take down the grand warden but unfortunately, it didn't quite work out, guys. So there goes our first Rage Spell for the Queen. Let's get these Wall Breakers. Oh, damn. We lost, damn. We lost both of those Wall Breakers, guys. There goes another one. Can we get the Queen to move in and take on the Expo and the Defending Queen? Now, we're actually going to be using our Archer Queen's ability, guys. I don't think I want to use another Rage Spell. Let's just see what happens, though. Once that Expo's down, can my Queen kill the Defending Queen? Yo, we had to use the ability, guys. That's cool, though. That's absolutely cool. And here we go. So moving back towards max hit points, guys. Now, now that that queen is down, I can focus on bringing these golems in. So there go the golems on a nice wide spread. There goes the rest of the troops in just behind, guys. And the archer is going to come in on the corners. So let's drop down a rage spell. See if we can get these, uh, these units through. One of these level 9 walls on the corner. There it goes, guys. And we are making our way into the center. So, there goes the Grand Warden's ability. Poison spell and a Rage spell into the center of this base, guys. And we should be about to tear this down. So, here we go. Immediately stormtrooping the core of this dude's base. And we're already grabbing ourselves that second star, guys. So, it's all about these Elixir Storages on the edges now. There goes the King's ability. He's going to take down that second single target. Sorry, multi-target Inferno Tower. And that grabs us 59% currently, guys. So, question is, can we close in on a 100% loot bonus? Once again, looking for a total 
of 70% damage on this dude's base cast. 60% down so far. Eagle Artillery is down. Still got plenty of healers left alive. So there is definitely a great chance that we're going to do this, guys. Here we go. Queen's going to take out that gold collector. Breaking through that wall. And we've got a golem up ahead. This is actually looking pretty damn sweet. Here we go. 66, 67% guys past the devil's number. Taking out this cannon. Can we grab that Alexa storage? It's going to be a close one. 20 seconds remaining guys. But we've also got to kill the defending king. Here we go. Level 33. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for the queen. One more shot. He's down guys. Here we go. We're going to get at least a couple of shots onto this Alexa collector. Sorry storage. There it goes. And the queen cleans up guys. And check that out. Ending. We're 4.56, 4.643 million elixir, including the bonus. Absolutely awesome. And we can upgrade another wall. So let's do this one right here, guys. 4 million elixir. And that takes me to a total of 137 remaining, guys. We're honestly doing this so damn quickly. Leave a like if you uh, you actually want to keep watching my videos, guys. If you want me to keep uploading, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're going to be back in a couple of hours, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.